Pluto is a remote and perplexing, more modest planet that was once a piece of our sun-fueled system's planetary gathering. Anyway, later surprising announcements by conspicuous astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with an astounding discovery. They suggested that this cool world is on a potential influence course with Neptune. Yet, how is it that this could work out and what may be the repercussions of such a giant event? Are we seeing a fascinating cosmic peculiarity? Or is there another thing to this coming limitless struggle? Join us as we investigate the possible results of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a previous planet that was renamed as a dwarf planet in part due to its astonishing orbit, remains a subject of interest and investigation in the cosmic community. As per recent figures by leading scientists, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's, with both Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku sounding the alarm about a likely dangerous collision between these two planets that could present a critical risk to Earth. How is such an event even possible? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planetary gathering. It requires an amazing 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't, without a doubt, finished one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its exceptionally elliptical shape, wandering astoundingly from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more astonishing is its inclination, determined at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The manner in which Pluto follows is significantly more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and elongated nature add layers of complexity to its orbital design. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection point with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging what we might expect from their positions in the planetary system. This prompts the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The examination of Pluto's orbit began not long after its discovery. Initially, astronomers attempted to understand its unusual path. In contrast to other planets, whose orbits lie somewhat near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood apart with its steep inclination and stretched shape. The mystery deepened with the confirmation that Pluto's orbit indeed crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is proof of the intricate design of space mechanics. The three body problem in space involves figuring out how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other with their gravity. It's like attempting to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem shows how the orbits of Neptune and the Sun's gravity all interact in a complicated way. The terms libration and resonance libration, along with the VSK oscillation, are part of this puzzle. As indicated by astrophysicists, What's keeping all planets in their orbits is a U-libration. In the specific context of Pluto and Neptune, this term suggests that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it's arranged at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial division is critical in keeping their orbits from colliding. Resonance libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it's situated entirely above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection from potential impacts. Another significant part of this condition is the VSK oscillation, named after three researchers, von Zeipel, Kappus, and LV, who studied how objects move in space. It describes how three celestial objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. In Pluto's case, the VSK oscillation helps us understand why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite its seemingly turbulent path, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an extraordinarily long time, like billions of years. This means Pluto's venture around the Sun has a kind of order to it, even if it seems unpredictable at first. Predicting limitless events, especially when they involve violent orbits like Pluto's, presents critical challenges. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term predictions are often filled with uncertainties. 
While mathematical simulations provide a powerful means to understand and predict the future paths of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive abilities. These models depend heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions they simulate. Any minor error or deviation can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions a daunting task. Moreover, the turbulent nature of celestial orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the constantly evolving and dynamic nature of the universe. While we have made significant steps in understanding space, the case of Pluto serves as a reminder that our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can create far-reaching effects on the stability and behavior of various bodies within the system. So, why are prominent astrophysicists recently raising concerns about a potential impact between Pluto and Neptune, despite all these intricate forces trying to prevent such an event from happening? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a key figure in advancing cosmology, offers an interesting perspective on the mysteries of our nearby planetary system, particularly the captivating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in the renaming of Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides insightful commentary on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the unexplored realms of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's renaming is grounded in the ever-growing knowledge of our solar system. He sees the renaming not as a demotion, but rather as a significant adjustment in alignment with our developing understanding of the many bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and transformation. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The interest in these questions especially the potential interactions between Pluto and Neptune, highlights the dynamic and unpredictable nature of our nearby planetary system. His work stresses that the more we uncover about space, the more questions arise, pushing us to explore further and refine our understanding of the universe. Michio Kaku, another respected physicist and futurist, offers a different yet complementary perspective on the mysteries of space. Focusing on the often tumultuous forces that shape our universe, Kaku is known for his ability to connect complex scientific ideas with visionary concepts, making him an important voice in discussions about celestial mechanics and the broader implications for humanity. Kaku's perspectives on Pluto and its orbit emphasize the need for continuous observation and advanced modeling to predict and understand potential astronomical events. He sees the interactions between celestial bodies as an important area of study, not just for academic interest, but for practical implications. The potential collision between Pluto and Neptune, for instance, isn't just a theoretical situation, but a reflection of the dynamic and often violent nature of space. Kaku's futurist perspective urges us to consider the broader implications of such events, from their impact on our understanding of the solar system to the potential need for future space interventions. His perspective highlights the significance of being prepared for the unexpected in space. Kaku suggests that the more we understand the forces at play, the better prepared we will be to navigate and potentially mitigate the effects of cosmic events. Both Tyson and Kaku's viewpoints converge on the idea that space is a domain of boundless discovery, and that our current understanding, while significant, is still limited. Their emphasis on the need for ongoing exploration and advanced modeling reflects the evolving nature of space science. They highlight the importance of not just understanding celestial mechanics as they are now, but also anticipating how they may change in the future. The potential impact scenario between Pluto and Neptune serves as a case study for the broader challenges and opportunities in space exploration. It emphasizes the need for effective scientific inquiry, advanced technology, and a willingness to revise our understanding as new information emerges. For Tyson and Kaku, the mysteries of space, exemplified by Pluto's orbit, are a call to action for the scientific community and humanity at large to keep pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. There is a general scientific consensus that, for the foreseeable future, the orbits of Pluto and Neptune remain stable due to their mean motion resonance and the various gravitational forces acting upon them. Therefore, a direct impact between Pluto and Neptune is extremely unlikely. However, 
the complexities and potential perturbations in orbital dynamics still mean that astronomers should continue to monitor and study these celestial bodies to better understand their long-term behavior and any potential risks they may pose. While the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision is largely theoretical and considered unlikely with current understanding, it highlights the importance of continuous research and observation in space science. Advances in technology, including more advanced telescopes and virtual simulations, will help astronomers refine their models and predictions, ensuring that we stay abreast of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our nearby planetary system. Tyson's perspective on Pluto's renaming and Kaku's emphasis on the unpredictable nature of celestial mechanics both underscore the need for ongoing investigation and a flexible understanding of our universe. The potential impact scenario while highlighting the dynamic and complex interactions within our nearby planetary system ultimately reminds us of the vast, yet still unclear, domains in our understanding of space. Through continued research and observation, we strive to unravel these mysteries, ensuring that our knowledge keeps pace with the ever-evolving universe. Pluto continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike with its distant, mysterious nature. While its status as a dwarf planet has long been debated, its orbit and peculiar characteristics keep researchers engaged. Recent developments have reignited discussions about Pluto's potential interactions with Neptune. The idea of a potential collision, though unlikely, prompts questions about the intricacies of orbital mechanics and the forces that govern these celestial bodies. Despite its designation as a dwarf planet, Pluto's orbital dynamics remain an enigma. Its orbit is not only highly elliptical, but it also has an inclination that is unlike any other planet in our solar system. This eccentricity allows Pluto to come closer to the Sun than Neptune for a short period during each orbit. Despite this proximity, the two bodies have never collided. This is due to a complex gravitational dance between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, as well as the so-called libration effect that ensures their orbits do not intersect in a way that would lead to an impact. Understanding Pluto's orbit involves studying the way gravitational forces from other planets interact with its trajectory. This complexity arises from the fact that Pluto's orbit is not only tilted but also distorted, meaning its movements are unpredictable over short time frames. However, long-term stability has been observed, thanks to the intricate gravitational interactions that act as stabilizing forces. For Pluto, these effects provide a form of cosmic insurance preventing a collision despite the planet's unusual orbit. Yet, the future of Pluto and Neptune's interactions remains a subject of concern. Astronomers have long been aware of the precarious nature of the orbits of bodies in our solar system. Although the possibility of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune seems remote, the gravitational forces at play could still lead to significant changes over millions of years. Given the vast timescales involved in the study of celestial bodies, even slight alterations in the orbits of planets and dwarf planets can have profound consequences. This highlights the importance of continuous observation and the need for further exploration of Pluto's behavior within the gravitational framework of our solar system. For astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, the question of Pluto's future is part of a larger conversation about the nature of space itself. Tyson has emphasized that our understanding of Pluto's status is not a matter of diminishing its importance, but rather adjusting to new discoveries that provide a clearer picture of the solar system. He believes that by expanding our knowledge of Pluto, we can gain insights into the evolution of our solar system and the dynamics that continue to shape its formation. Tyson's commentary on Pluto highlights the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry, underscoring how even the most established facts are subject to change as new information becomes available. Kaku, with his focus on the role of advanced technology and modeling in understanding cosmic events, advocates for a proactive approach to studying celestial interactions. He stresses the significance of continued research, not just for theoretical knowledge, but for practical applications. Understanding the behavior of Pluto and Neptune in greater detail could provide us with a better understanding of the forces at work in the universe. Kaku's futurist perspective encourages us to look beyond theoretical scenarios and consider how the study of these distant bodies can have far-reaching implications for space exploration and humanity's future in the cosmos. Both Tyson and Kaku advocate for a broader, more flexible understanding of our universe. 
as technology continues to advance, so too must our methods of studying and predicting the behaviors of celestial bodies. Their work emphasizes the importance of adjusting our models and frameworks to account for the ever-changing dynamics of space. While the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision remains unlikely, the ever-evolving nature of space mechanics means that there are still mysteries to unravel. Both scientists highlight the importance of ongoing investigation and the need for new technologies to refine our understanding of the universe. In conclusion, Pluto's orbit serves as a reminder of the complexity and unpredictability of our solar system. While the likelihood of a direct collision with Neptune remains extremely low, the interactions between these two celestial bodies offer an interesting case study in celestial mechanics. As scientists continue to monitor and study Pluto's behavior, we are reminded that the universe is full of unknowns. Our understanding of space is constantly evolving, and Pluto's role in this larger story reminds us that we have only just begun to scratch the surface of the mysteries that the cosmos holds. Continuous research and advancements in technology will help us to explore the universe more fully, ensuring that we remain prepared for whatever surprises lie ahead in the ever-changing cosmos.